what we'll build is, it, I think it's my 19th book as author and illustrator. It comes about after the birth of, of our second child, our first daughter, Mary. It deals with that idea of a shared imagination where I'll build her future and she'll build mine. The objects in the, the first part of the book are objects that my daughter was interested in or were her favorite things. You know, she loved ice cream. There was an ice cream shop in our corner and it was a difficult task to get past there without actually getting one. And you know, there were objects that were important to her, but there were also objects that were important to me. There has been a lot of talk about building walls and about keeping people out. And I wanted to address this in some ways because the whole book is looking at the future and the future isn't always going to be rosy. There's going to be scary and dark and frightening times as well as joyous and happy times. And so in this, this part of the book, yes, we build a wall to keep our enemies out, but the most important aspect of that wall is the door that's there to let people in. My mother died 20 years ago and my daughter, Mary, is named after her. And as I was making this book, quite uh, unintentionally in the background, this fox character started appearing. And it was only towards the end when I was making the final art and realized, I mean, listening to all my mother's favorite music while making those spreads, that the fox represented her. My mother had always been my moral compass. And then it's the fox that lifts up the compass and, and leads us charging into battle. And it is the fox that's still present there in the desert as Mary and I sleep. I was thinking about the relationship that I would have with my daughter. What is our future going to be together? There was something very, very powerful about writing a book for a future relationship and just all of the hope and the pure potential of everything that's to come.